from ABC7. This is Eyewitness News. Probiotics or good bacteria is a buzz term in nutrition, and these good bugs are known to support gut health. But new research indicates that probi probiotic strains can also help in ways beyond that, like boosting mood, helping with weight, even skin. Lori Corbin has the details in today's Circle of Health report. Good bacteria that lives in our gut can help our digestive system. But biochemist Sean Talbot says within the last couple of years, scientists have discovered probiotic strains that can do specific things that do so much more. What we're learning is that probiotics can have benefits all through the body. They can be good for the skin or the brain or the heart or your muscles. Each strain has a specific function. It's not that one strain will do everything for somebody. And so that's why it's really important for someone when they're looking for a probiotic, look on the back of the box or the back of the bottle to see what does this specific strain do. Talbot says Align and Culturel are two products that can help fight bloating, gas, diarrhea, and constipation. True Biotics is known for supporting the immune system, which may help fight off colds and flu. Digestive advantage is more general, a prebiotic multivitamin, so to speak, very shelf-stable, and Mentabiotics targets mood. So this idea of helping people with depression and anxiety and stress, there's specific strains that help with those sorts of things, because a lot of the neurotransmitters that are made in our bodies. Our serotonin and dopamine are actually made in our gut. And all of these probiotics are hungry for good food. It's a lower sugar, high fiber diet that helps these probiotics do their job. But Talbot says get ready for the next big thing, prebiotic supplements. Look to foods like asparagus, oatmeal, black beans, avocado to help probiotics do their job as well. Especially important as not everyone eats a stellar diet. If you choose the right one, they can grow the good bacteria and also starve out the bad bacteria. So bad bacteria sometimes will grow on sugar. When you take them and how much you take may differ depending on the supplement. So make sure to check labels for each strain. Lori Corbin, ABC7 Eyewitness News.